Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johns84, and today I'm going to show you guys my final stats in Modern Warfare 3. Hopefully, you guys like them because they're legit. I never modded, I never cheated, I never boosted, I never did anything that's, you know, pretty much cheating in this game. And I do want to say real quick subtract 5,000 kills. 5,000. Because I'm pretty much sure uh, since Tossing 11, or I don't know when it was when, it, when Black Ops 2 came out. Um, Right? That was the the one after Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, I think it was. Well, right before Black Ops 2 came out, I, all I know is that I had over 140,000 kills committed. So just subtract 5,000, that's pretty much the final kills that I pretty much had in 2011. So you can pretty much tell that I did play this game a lot. Another one that is pretty much, you know, out of the blue is the win streak. 56 wins in a row. Now, that one was committed with me and the Clan Damage Inc. And it was on TDM. We were finishing games real quick. We were dominating so bad with me. It was me, Stanton Warrior, uh, Reverend Lovejoy, Cruel7 Chavez, um, Carson, and somebody else. I forgot who the other guy was. I think it was Ray. Uh, we were all from Damage Inc. And uh, our clan was pretty much dominating every single match that we ended up winning 56 times. And that, by the way, was during the clan ops. We did over 50 matches in three hours. The clan ups back in the day were, were fucking badass. I don't know about nowadays. Nowadays is just bullshit stuff. I don't even know. But the clan ups back in the day were, were fucking fascinating. They were badass. You always won something. There was actually actual prizes. And uh, that was pretty much to do. It was pretty fun much to do and, and everything. And that's why we had so many, you know, wins back to back. Uh, another thing that's pretty much noticeable is my win and loss ratio. Pretty much lost most of the time. Uh, not even a 2.0 or anything. It's just that, uh, you know, I mostly played solo in Ground War. So you can pretty much expect that I was running around with my teammates being all noobish and everything. And uh, the only times I would lose when I get spawn trapped so badly that I pretty much end up losing. Um, but most of the time, it was during the new DLC maps. That was the one that I pretty much messed up myself on. Um, that's why I have so many losses. The wins... Pretty much clutch comebacks, wins, original wins, uh, beat out wins, you know, all the original stuff. And also most of the losses came from um, regular 6 for 6 TDM. I don't play that stuff. I like to play Ground War hit, hit up. Like, that's my freaking game mode. So that's why I have so many losses. Another another thing that's pretty much uh, noticeable is my KD 1.87.6, uh, almost to a 2.0. A lot of people may think that, uh, you know, that's a good KD and everything. But uh, back in Black Ops 1, I used to have a 2.36 as my highest KD ever recorded. So, yes, I was pretty much upset that I ended up under 2.0. Because I know I could have done better, but... Nah. Can't believe I ended up with a 1.87. Uh, another thing about the kills, guys, about having 140,000 kills, is that half of them were committed by the P90. If there's a way I can see my weapon stats, that would be good. Because I can tell how many kills I can I had with the P90 because I started using the P90 on January of 2011, which is like two months after Modern Warfare 3 was released, and that's where I actually went full time with the P90. I will never change to some other gun at all. I promise you that P90 was my best weapon of all time. So yeah, I think half of my kills were committed by the P90 because I started for like since the beginning, and damn, I was owning so badly. So, um, let's go on to the score. Pretty much, I was ranked 669. I love the kill confirmed. That's why I was ranked so high. But uh, overall, Cruel7 Chavez took the lead by so much. I don't even know how the hell he did it. Well, actually, he has more games to play than me. So, yeah. That's why he has so many, too much score. Uh, wins. Pretty much, T-Bolt has it. I can't believe that guy is leading on, on freaking... I think he has mods or something. Uh, kills. I used to be ranked... In the top 30,000s. That was the last time I checked on back on uh, back before Black Ops 2 got released. I used to be ranking the top 30,000s. It was me, Crew 7, Chavez, then and then Frank 1999. And by the way, all the names that you see here, guys, we were all from Damage Inc. If you guys remember Damage Inc. Uh, back in the Modern Warfare 3 days, guys, it was me, you know, Joking John 34, Frank 1999, Crew 7, Chavez, Gotcha, Good 12, MZ Zamoana, Shark, Psycho Kills, T Bolt. T Pat 20? Well, I think he was in there too. Trolling? No, not trolling. Ray? Damn, man. Look at all these members of Damage Inc. Peace Boy Ren. 
Yeah, I forgot about all these guys. And the rest are not even part. Crazy KP's right there. Yep, Sandman, I think it was part of it. Well, that's it. That's enough about the kills, guys. And remember, half of the kills were committed by the P90 itself. Uh, the accuracy was pretty much, yeah, pathetic. I don't even want to watch it. But you'll get my point why I have such a low accuracy. I mean, I have committed so many kills that, uh, you know, I don't know. I just, if you have so many kills, you expect to have a low accuracy. My free for all rankings, pretty much I didn't play a lot of free for all, as you can see. I have a 1.87 KD ratio because most of the time I head over to Ground War 24/7. I will never change from other two other game modes at all. Only if it came if it came down to uh, clan ops. TDM rankings I have a 2.0 KD, exactly 2.0. And another thing, guys, is that I don't play this freaking game mode a lot. So how can I, how the hell do I have a high ratio if you know I don't play this thing a lot? Uh, I pretty much had good teammates, by the way. So that's why. You know, I survived it quite longer. Search and Destroy, never played it. You see? <laughs> I only have 240 kills. I don't play Search and Destroy. I just don't. I don't like it. Sabotage. I play Sabotage? What the hell? Domination. Ranking 67,000. It's because I don't capture, as you can see, guys. I don't capture a lot of fa flags. I mean, sorry. I said fags there. I apologize for that. Uh, but I don't capture a lot of flags. Under 3,000 guys, and I have over 7,000 defense. You can pretty much tell I'm a defender. I've been saying that for the longest time, and people still criticize me for that. But it's because I'm a defender. I defend my flags. I don't go out there just to rush and get all my kill streaks and just hide in the corner and let my teammates be killed. Like, no, I go out there, I capture the flags, and I stay around the flag to see who's around. If there's nobody else around, well, I just move a little bit forward. So, my priority is in domination is defend the flags at all costs. If nobody's attacking or anything, move on to the other flag or move ahead to see where they're coming from and take them out and blindside them and stuff. That's pretty much my objective and, and, and domination. So yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot of captures. Pretty much shows it here. Headquarters capture the flag. I didn't like capture the flag at all. Kill confirm. I was a boss on it. God damn it. I captured. There was this one time when it, there was like a operation, like an, like an op, a single op. And I ended up being ranked in the top 5 in the whole world. I actually captured like around 400 kill confirmed tags. The number 1 guy captured 600. The second guy captured 500. And the other 2 guys captured like around 400 also. And goddamn, I was ranked in the top 5. And that was only in 3 hours. So, that's why I have so many confirms over all these people. <laughs> you can see right here. 6,441. Are you kidding me? I mean, look, at, look at all these guys. They don't have none confirmed. Look at me, have 25,000 confirms. 25,000. And I have an underscore. I don't understand this part. Why do I have such a low score if I have a lot of confirms? That's kind of weird. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, what else should I show you guys? My accolades. Uh, one of the most impressive accolades I have is probably most SMG kills. Yeah, I'm still ranking the top 10,000. I was actually ranking the thousands in, in that thing, in that part right there. Another one right here, most kills, I was actually ranking the top 10,000. This one, mostly a lot of people did have it. Uh, most scented kills, for sure, this one, yeah. This one, I was actually ranking the 800s. I have a lot of scented kills. I, li I like to use the scented on Modern Warfare 3. It's more it's more quicker and a lot more uh, safer to throw, kind of. Depends if you throw it good. Headshots, I don't have a lot of headshots. 16,000, really? Huh, I never checked that one before. Most kills of a low rank. I uh, don't have a lot of them, but I know it's ranked like in the top 10,000s also. Um, this one, most shots fired. Yeah, of course, I gotta have that one. My P90 shoots so fast that I'll sometimes miss a lot of my shots. So, And I don't have a lot of, as you can see, just, just such and destroy stuff. Uh, most air most airstrikes, sorry. Most airstrikes, I'm still ranking the top 5,000s. Another impressive thing about this one, guys, I was actually ranked in the top hundreds for most airstrikes, and that's because I used support all the way from January 2011 to to March 2011. I actually used it for three months or four months, and uh, it was quite um, embarrassing. I should have used a lot more assault kill strings than support. So, yeah, I kind of feel embarrassed for doing that. But overall, I'm ranked like real high in the airstrikes and the airstrikes. I mean. Most support uh, support kill streaks used, yeah, 15,000. So that's about it, guys. You know, pretty much does all my accolades. Um, these are the final stats, guys. I have committed over 140,000 kills of a KDL 
and um, my longest kill streak is 37. That was on the. Um, I'm guessing that was infected. There's no way I went 37. I think it was on that infected match where I actually got my first Moab or second Moab, and that was without even trying. So, so yeah, that was the, my uh, one of my longest kill streaks that I had. Or I think it was like in that time that I got 81 kills or something. I don't know, but yeah, that's my kill streak. So um, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Hopefully, you guys like my final stats. This is all legit. No mods, no hacks, no cheats, no nothing. This is straight up rushers uh, stats. So yeah, guys. I'll see you guys later, and hopefully, guys, you guys enjoy my Modern Warfare 3 era. <laughs>